Hey guys, wanna learn a super simple trick to achieve this 3D image effect? Here is the image without the effect and here is the same image with the 3D effect. Already excited? Let's get it started. So what do we need? A WordPress website and a pro version of Elementor page builder. I haven't installed a theme yet though, so I'll go and get one at templatemonster.com. I need something cool with a lot of images, um, this one. Installed it, opened the page in Elementor, found a suitable section to work with. Now let's get to the fun stuff. You'll need to set the image as a column or a section background because this method won't work with the image widget. Let's work with the column now. To see the column background, we need an object inside the column, so I'll drop a spacer in there and adjust the height. I'll suggest the margins of the section so we get a better view of it. Now I'll set the properties of the background image and finally click on the motion effects option. Here I'll enable the mouse track, set the direction to opposite and crank the speed up to 3. Here's what I've got so far. Now this was the effect that we have applied to the background image of the column, but we can also add motion effects to the column itself. Now let's go to the advanced settings and find motion effects. Let's enable this option, go to mouse track and set the direction to direct. The direction here has to be different from the one that we have set for the column background. Next, let's enable the 3D tilt. Let's set the speed to 3 and see what it looks like. So this is the effect that we were after. This sort of a fake 3D effect is achieved by overlaying multiple motion effects. The motion effects of the background image of the column and the motion effects that we applied to the column itself in the advanced settings. You can play around with the values to get different effects, but you shouldn't go too crazy with it. But you can definitely experiment with the direction and see what you can come up with. As I've said, you can also apply this effect to the section backgrounds. But my recommendation to you, don't apply this effect to the sections that contain some text because it just gets out of hand. So I hope you liked today's tip and if you need anything else for your creative process you can get it at templatemonster.com which is pretty much a supermarket of digital products for designers and developers. If you need anything starting from a WordPress theme to fonts or illustrations or graphics or product mockups you can get it at templatemonster.com and you can check out the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching guys, experiment, stay creative and I'll see you around!